If you consider this revolting and perverted, understand that you'll be seen as an intolerant, shallow person who should visit a psychiatrist. This is a usual playground slide. You don't believe it? Take a closer look. A boy of five is sliding down right there. This playground slide is in Norway, and it was put there in order to bring up children in a proper way, not to feel shy, but to be developed. Are you shocked? Well, if so, it means that you are backward and not able to appreciate how modern civilization has evolved. Not long ago, Europeans decided to civilize their citizens from the cradle in order to reduce the number of such stupid people. The youngest children are taught core values through the examples of toy animals. This French book has the title Little Fox Jean Has Two Mums. And here is a story about a baby penguin entitled The Tango of Two Fathers. Why not? Preschool teachers in kindergartens read such books to children. Teachers use special methods and techniques which are being worked out in ministries. For example, the Danish Ministry of Equality has printed a guideline for nursery teachers called Kindergartens, where there is a place for peppy princes and pirate princesses. In Latvia, you can find books for boys entitled The Day When Carlis Was Carleen, and for girls, The Day When Ruta Was Richard, published under the patronage of the ministry. And you encounter the same situation in Germany. For instance, the pupils of one German school swap sexes. In honor of Gender Equality Day, boys and girls cross-dressed. In fact, everybody took part, both teachers and students, because, according to Europeans, it helps to reach mutual understanding. Schüler sich in der Schule, wo sie sehr lange in ihrer Jugend sind, nicht verstellen müssen, sondern sein können, wer sie sind. If you are shocked by all this, that handicraft and PE teachers can come to school in a skirt with makeup and high heels, and a maths teacher can come to school wearing men's trousers and false beard, then it means you are backward. LGBT ideologists are sure that a man in his infancy is neuter. That's why he can later choose who he wants to be. He, she, or it. These cute boxes are not sold in sex shops, but are given out in kindergartens in Basel, Switzerland. Plastic boxes are made for children of four years and upward. A complete set is made up of queer dolls, special illustrated books, and toys imitating genitals. But that's not the worst. The most horrible thing is that nowadays kids are transformed and become some kind of neuter. A creature that doesn't know who it is, male or female. This is Max. He is two. His English father and mother dress him in boys' trousers as a boy and girls' skirts. Though Max was born as a normal boy, his parents consider this meaningless. Until the boy decides for himself who he is, his parents make him play with both toy cars and dolls. His mother paints his nails and pins up his hair with girlish hairpins and his father shows him how to assemble a robot. According to his parents, they do it for the sake of their child. According to Lisa, Max's 23-year-old mother, a gender-neutral upbringing gives a child the freedom to choose between stereotypical male and female clothes and toys. He gets dressed and plays with toys the way he likes. From an early age, Max who is brought up as God knows who, and his parents and hundreds of thousands of European families have fallen victim to a modern gender theory, which turns people into neutered creatures. The formation of such people of the future begins in special kindergartens. Here is one such preschool institution in Sweden. The kindergarten Egalia has been operating since 2010 in Stockholm. 
Here, the children are treated as if they have no gender. Instead of han or hon, which is translated from Swedish as he or she, a child is called hen, which means it. This neuter word was added by pedagogues to their word armory from non-traditional sexual minorities. That's probably the reason why the director of the kindergarten, Lotta Rajalin, considers this procedure to be the most democratic. So I think we are going to change girls to boys and boys to girls, and that's, of course, not what we are doing. We like to give every human being the same rights, the same possibilities, the same responsibilities, and that is a question of democracy. Here is how this democracy works.